Janome. Hi, I'm Danielle from Janome America. Today I'll be using the Continental M17, our top of the line sewing and embroidery combo machine. For this tutorial, I'll be using the embroidery mode, which comes with all of these hoops. Janome's AccuFill software has been a favorite for years, and now with Janome's latest update, it is now compatible with the ASQ27D hoop. With this update, everything you love about AccuFill, like creating continuous stippling designs and quilting designs, is now available with the ASQ27D hoop. AccuFill is a powerful tool that calculates the exact number of hoopings you will need to complete your quilt. It also generates templates to easily line up each design. Today I will show you how to use AccuFill to create edge-to-edge -edge quilting designs using a stipple fill and a border design. Start by opening the AccuFill software on your PC. This is where you will create the stippling template for your edge-to-edge -edge design. From the main menu, choose the AccuFill Multiple Design Layout option. This is the feature that allows you to create the precisely sized stippling template you'll need for your quilt. If you prefer working in inches, you can change the units by clicking the icon at the top corner of the screen and clicking on Units. Select Inches from the menu. In the Editing Size screen, input the total dimensions of where you will embroider your edge-to-edge -edge design. This ensures the software generates the correct total layout for your project. The AccuFill software will generate the precisely sized stippling design based on your total dimensions. AccuFill also creates a layout sheet with the overall dimensions that shows exactly how many hoopings are needed to complete the edge-to-edge -edge design. This layout sheet will be your guide throughout the quilting process. Be sure to print the template and layout sheet. The template helps with accurate hoop placement while the layout sheet shows the overall placements for the hoopings. Don't forget to save your AccuFill quilting design onto a USB stick. This will allow you to transfer the design to your Continental M17 for stitching. Refer to the printed layout sheet to transfer the grid onto your quilt. This step is crucial for accurately lining up the template with the quilt diagram to create the edge-to-edge -edge look. Also, make sure that your batting and backing are about 5 inches larger on all sides of your quilt. This will ensure that you are able to hoop around the edges of the quilt. It's best to start quilting from the center of the quilt and work your way outwards to prevent any skewing of the fabric. Position the paper template over the first hooping area. Line up the edges of the template with the edges of the marked lines on your quilt. Use tape or temporary spray adhesive to secure the template of your quilt. Make sure that the arrow on the template is facing upwards so that it is in the correct orientation for the hoop. Place the ASQ27D hoop under the quilt and under the first hooping location. Then place the acrylic hoop template into the hoop. Adjust the quilt so that the cross marks on the paper template align perfectly with the center cross marks on the acrylic template. Once aligned, use the magnetic clamps to secure the quilt to the ASQ27D hoop. Remove the acrylic grid, but do not remove the paper template yet. With the USB plugged into the machine, open your AccuFill design. Use the thumb wheel to gently lower the needle position to check if the needle lines up with the center of the cross marks on the paper template. If they do not line up, use the arrow keys on the screen to move the hoop to the correct position. Now you can remove the paper template and begin the stitch out. Now we are ready to move on to the next hooping.
Place the template on the section next to the previous stitch out. Be sure to align the edges of the template with the edges of the grid lines on your quilt and carefully align with the previous stitch out. Just as we did before, adjust the placement of your quilt under the acrylic grid so that the center cross marks on the template line up with the center cross marks on the acrylic grid. Once aligned, use the magnetic clamps to secure the quilt to the ASQ27D hoop. Once the clamps are on, remove the acrylic template, but do not remove the paper template. With your hoop attached to the machine, double check that the needle position aligns with the center of the paper template. Once aligned, you can remove the paper template and begin the stitch out. Repeat this process until all sections are stitched out. Now we will use AccuFill to create a fun design on the border of this quilt. With AccuFill open, click on Create Original AccuFill Designs. On the next screen, input the dimensions of your sashing blocks. Click on the Design folder to choose from an assortment of design elements. We are going to create a design that will make the border look like one continuous stitch out. Once you are happy with your design, print the template and save the design to your USB. Place the paper template on your first border section. Just like before, it is best to start in the center of the border and work outwards to prevent the fabric from skewing. Use temporary adhesive spray or tape to stick the template to your quilt. Place the ASQ27D hoop under this first border section. Then, place the acrylic grid in the hoop and align the cross marks on the paper template with the cross marks on the acrylic grid. Now you can use the magnetic clamps to secure the quilt to the hoop. With the USB plugged into the machine, open your custom AccuFill design. With the hoop attached to the machine, align the needle position with the center of the cross marks. Once they are aligned, you can begin the stitch out. Now we will rehoop the quilt to stitch out the next border design. Align the paper template with the previous stitch out section and grid lines on the quilt. With the acrylic grid placed in the hoop, adjust the quilt so that the center cross marks on the paper template align with the cross marks on the acrylic grid. Once aligned, add the magnetic clamps to the hoop to secure the quilt in place. With the hoop attached to the machine, be sure that the needle position aligns with the center of the cross marks on the paper template. Once aligned, remove the paper template and begin the stitch out. You will repeat this process until the entire border is stitched out. 